Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to fix the PHP not found issue in Visual Studio Code. So I have this index.php file, and now if I right click on here and uh, PHP uh, server server project, if I click on this PHP not found. Um, now if I show you the extensions, so uh, if I show you the installed extension, and if I go down, so uh, PHP IntelliFence as well as PHP server both are installed but PHP not found this issue is given it is given because we do not have added the path uh, of PHP into our environment variable a variable so uh, for that I have installed XAMPP uh, into my C drive so if you have XAMPP or WAMP or you have stand alone PHP installed on, on your computer so you have to find the path of the PHP where you have installed uh, PHP so uh, in my case I have installed them uh, so it is in the C drive so I'll click on this PC C drive and use as you can see the last one is them so in them I have this PHP folder so I'll click on this PHP and uh, so uh, my PHP installation is here so I'll click uh, here and I'll copy this path now I'll right click here on this start and now I'll go to settings and uh, in settings I'll go here to about and here I will go to advanced system settings and here I will go to environment variables now as you can see in this uh, this window in this below one we have this path so i'll click on this and i'll click on edit now i'll go down and create a new uh, path here so now you can see a new uh, line is added so i'll control v that path that we have copied here and i'll click ok and now i'll click ok on this um on this as well and now i'll close this I'll close this as well and I'll close this one as well so now we are in our PHP in our Visual Studio code so now I'll restart Visual Studio code so I'll close this and then double click on this to restart this now it uh, now if I close this terminal and now if I right click on this and now if I use PHP server uh, serve project and if I click on this now you can see uh, the issue is fixed and, and the welcome to PHP and the date is echoed or printed on the screen as we have shown here. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.